y'all what's happening welcome back to want to go fishing here we are in the summer headquarters today because it is cold outside i'm not kidding you i know that a lot of you guys and gals that live up north y'all are used to those negatives that little line it's amazing what that little line means it means a lot of things but it's cold up there i get it i know but you know i'm 51 years old and on blood pressure medicine so my skin's thin and my blood's thin and it's cold out there so you get cold right to the bone i mean into the bone marrow it gets cold that's enough about cold let's talk about something else i wanted to start the the go-kart build now i haven't got a good name for it i just now sat here and thought you know what you need a name for this project but really it's a go-kart and i'd like to build it into a camping fishing little expedition sort of vehicle, I guess you'd say. So I'll come up with something creative and witty and all of that when the time comes. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go get it out of the shed, for one, get it into the garage, and we're going to warm up the garage a little bit. We're going to do a walk around and then throw some ideas on this build, on what we want to do for this thing. Uh, now, some of it's already been done. Um, when I first got this thing, it was a mess absolute mess like most of the stuff I get it's usually something that nobody else wants so I got new tires I uh, put lights on it I installed a battery on the back and um, a new engine actually I was going to try to use the engine that was on it but it was some kind of Mitsubishi something and it had about I I'm pretty sure two kids on a skateboard had more power than it had and we're gonna go ahead and change the engine. That was the idea, but I already changed the engine. Uh, so we put a brand spanking new 6.5 uh, horsepower uh, Predator engine from Harbor Freight on it. Uh, got it welded up and everything. And so anyway, it all works, everything it functions. But what we wanna do is a rack on the roof is what I'm thinking. I don't want any big, huge rack like what goes on a car because this is only a six and a half horsepower engine. So we wanna be able to put two people in it a couple of fishing poles, tackle box, and a cooler, possibly a tent, some sleeping bags, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, so today, we're going to go out there in the garage and do a walk around real quick, and we're going to have us a go-kart build, kind of. Uh, let's call it a fish, fish cart. The fish cart. The fish cart. Ha! See, I just needed some time. I just needed to run my mouth and things just fly out. Let's go out to the garage. Whew, what's happening, y'all? Man, I'm gonna tell you what. It is colder than Frosty the Snowman's undershorts out there today. Whew. All right, so we're out here in the garage. I got the Mr. Heater kicking over here in the corner, which I love Mr. Heater. He is a great thing. Mr. Heater and Mr. Coffee. I love them both. They're great guys. Mr. Mister, not so much. Anyway, let's go do a quick walk around here on the old fish cart, Willie's fish cart. Kind of like, I'm, I'm still liking that, Willie's fish cart. So I'm going to take you around a little thing, and I'm going to show you real quick things I've already done, and then we're gonna go with the ideas that are percolating up here. And if they stink, well then we won't do them. But if they're good, we might go with it. All right, we're gonna start at the front here. So obviously, you can see I have put lights on. As you can see there, there's the battery box that I wired in, it's actually an ammo can. I had to cut a little bit of that rack out. It's an ammo can. The battery is hidden inside there. This is a brand new six and a half horse Predator engine. We have brand spanking new knobby tires on the rear. We got some not so knobby tires on the front, but they'll do what we want them to do. Not a problem at all. They're going to work out just fine. Very well made cart, um, but it was a basket case when I got it. Uh, it had been sitting outside for a very long time. You'll notice some black spots in certain places. That is a uh, poor 15 rust inhibitor. 
that I used on it. I put all brand new grease fittings in it and greased up everything. So it's really a pretty sharp little car. Now, for the roof rack, I wanted something to go up here, but I don't want something as big as a normal car rack because, again, this is a six horse motor. I don't want to weigh this thing down so badly that it it burns the belt up because uh, speaking of belts this is actually a torque converter system that's on this thing that's powered by a belt so anyway let's take a look at the rack over here okay this is a harbor freight uh, rack that goes like in a trailer hitch as you can see obviously there you go you got the piece that goes in the trailer hitch now if you take a good look at how this thing is built you see all the nuts and bolts there down the middle then you got two on the outside here and here that hold this thing together but if you take that middle piece out take all those bolts out and take the trailer hitch piece out you can bolt this thing straight together and, and take those four bolts out on each side there you can bolt this thing right together and I'm going to try to put this on the roof not sideways not like it's got wings but straight backwards and forwards like you would put a surfboard on a car and then figure out a way to mount it up here and that is going to be my roof rack because that'll carry I think just enough stuff that we would need an extra gas can toolbox tackle box tent food I think we'd be perfectly fine we're gonna find out because for one I already have this thing and I ain't spending any more money and the other rack that they want to go on the roof of this thing ninety dollars so that ain't happening we're going to do it with what we got. Now, fishing pole holders. Let's go over those real quick. These are the same aluminum tubes that if you watched my uh, episode on the bicycle, this was a flagpole. So we're going to take and cut this and work it out just right so it'll hold two fishing poles fairly easily. And I'm going to show you where. <clears throat> Since this frame, or I should say roll cage, has a bolt already in it, right here. We're gonna take that bolt out. We're gonna get a longer bolt. We're gonna take, drill a hole in the bottom of this tube, and we're gonna cut us a groove down the, the uh, plug. Flag pole here that the fishing pole can set in, which is most likely going to be a spinning reel of some kind. They'll sit down in that, and that'll keep the pole from coming out, and we'll work on something to hold the pole down into it. So basically, what it really all boils down to is just a few hours of unbolting, bolting, fabricating some things, trying to figure out how to make things work, and then, and then, finding somewhere to use it. That's going to be the fun part, is trying to find a place where we can actually take this thing, take it out, ride a few miles, maybe put the tent up, stay overnight, camp near a lake, near a river, whatever the case, you know, whatever we find. That is what will be the hardest thing to do. This is nothing. So the first thing that we're going to do is figure out what size these bolts are right here. And then we're going to start taking these things apart. Let's see what we've got here. Do my best to not bore you all to death with this. So there's a good possibility at certain points we're going to be time lapsing. <laughs> somehow we just got to figure out how we're going to mount it I'm going to sit and think on that for a little bit nothing's coming to me
This is what we like to call the aftermath. Okay. Completely ran the dang Mr. Heater out of gas. Tools everywhere, stuff all over the place. But in the long run, in the long run, what ends up actually happening is you you create something that you actually enjoy. I went up to Ace Hardware, got some small one inch U bolts to work on this rack here, got the holes drilled, got it mounted, and you could turn this thing over from that right now. So, yes, it is on a little bit of an incline going that way, um, but that's no big deal. That's no problem at all. Everything can be ratchet strapped in. And so, anyway, this took literally the better part of a day because, you know, when you're piddling and you're creating, sometimes creating takes a little time. So, anyway, that's what we've got. we got the rack on right now, and we'll see you in a little bit. Maybe. I might just go to sleep. I don't know. I am hungry, though. Ooh, I've got pie. I just remembered that. I might have a piece of pie. For today, we're pretty much done. Um, we got the rack on the roof, got it mounted good and tight. Uh, it can handle a pretty good amount of weight, I'm thinking. I mean, we're not going to overweight it anyway. We're not going to, you know, go for months camping out in the wilderness with this thing. This is just to get us to where we want to go for a night or two, that kind of thing. So none of this stuff was put on as a permanent. Uh, fixture to these things because you know one day I might want to take all this stuff off and go uh, just riding without all the excess weight and everything but you never know I do silly things it could stay there might even end up being a 13 horsepower engine putting this thing one day but all in all it came out pretty good I got two uh, we're gonna look at it right now we're gonna look at it right now let me put this phone down all right here is what I'm calling the finished product for right now. Here's the fishing pole holders. I used the bolt that was already there for the uh, roll bar. And these are the aluminum flagpole things. I took the grinder and just ground out a little spot for it to sit, which I am debating on dipping this in the, uh, the, it's like a foam. You dip it and it's for handles, uh, almost like the foam on the fishing pole there. And to keep it from grinding in to the uh, reel there when we're riding. But this is, that ain't going nowhere. So I'm not worried about that. And I got it a little bit long so I can put other size and length of rod in there. So that's gonna work. This is gonna hold it temporarily. That way I can cut it off and put the original bolts back in if I ever want to put it back. And then the rack. And that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to do with this. Because um, the majority of the real work was done before I decided I was going to do this with it. The new tires and the, the engine and the lights and all that. So anyway, now's the big thing. Where do we go with it? We've got to find a place to test it out. I'm thinking. All right, just get off me a minute. I'm thinking. I'll think of something. I just did think of something. I'm hungry. That's the kind of things that happen. I veer right off sometimes. This is very off in my, that's, anyway. All right, here it is outside. We're gonna take a little cruise in it, see how it does. I'm sure it's gonna do fine, but you know, you got to test it.